Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can tell from this huge box in front of me, today I have my Grove Collaborative box. And it's been a little while since I've done that because I had been getting a lot of repeats, but I tried some new stuff this month, so I thought I would go ahead and unbox it again. In case you don't know, Grove Collaborative is a customizable auto shipment service that they send out all natural home, personal, lifestyle type products that you can either get regularly, you know, have it set up to come every month, you can adjust the dates, you can take it off auto delivery, you manage how often you get products. I, as a rule, get them every month because there are products that I like every month. It's just as easy to have them come to the house as to put them on a grocery list, I have found, and they do price matching, so it's always worked for me. So let's get in here and see what I've got. I do have a few repeat things. You know, there are things that I just always get, like I have this new coffee addiction. They carry a coffee that I like so much, and I only ever buy one. Each month I buy one, and it lasts me about a week. And every month my husband says, why don't you get yourself more of these? And I don't because it is a little pricey. And when I'm not using this, I just use like Starbucks or Dunkin' or something. But I love this so much. All right, let's get all this protective paper out of here. Let's get in and see what I've got. Well, right off the top, since I already mentioned it, let's go ahead and talk about my coffee. So this is their Larry's Coffee Free Riders Decaf. And I like it because it's decaffeinated naturally. It's done without any chemicals and it's just done with water. And I just love the flavor of this. There are so many good things about this. It is organic, it is shade grown, fair trade, but it's like $13.95 and it's only 12 ounces. So it's a little pricey, but I still get one every month. All right, what do we got next? I have next, let me drag them all out. I am addicted to the Mrs. Myers products. I just love the scents. So every season, at least four times a year, but usually more than that because I'll do like two summer ones, I stock up and I get what it takes to get me through the season. So this was my fall stock up. I have discovered, because we do most of our dishes because it's just my husband and I, that it takes me to get through one of these counter cleaners and one of these hand soaps that just sets in my kitchen for hand washing, it takes me three of the dishwashing liquids. So I just kind of paid attention for a few times when I was doing it and discovered that this was the math that it took to get me through a season. And I will be finishing this up at about the time the Iowa pine comes out for Christmas. And I just love the smell of this Iowa pine. Now this is spiced pumpkin. And this said that it was exclusive this year to grow, which I thought was interesting. Oh, it smells so good. It smells spicy. It's got a little bit of sweet to it, a little pumpkin-y. It's just, it just smells like fall and I love it. I should tell you, I will put my link down below because when you sign up with your first order, if you spend $20, you get a five piece gift set. And in that you will have a counter cleaner, a hand soap, and a dish liquid, and then two other products that can change seasonally. Well, last time I saw it, it had a little tray that I set these three on right next to my sink, and some walnut scrubber sponges that are also fantastic. But I'll put my link below just in case you have any interest in going over and looking at that. But these are the fall goodies that I purchase seasonally to get me through. I just finished up my summer scent, so it works perfectly, and that was another one that was exclusive to grow. I also received my loofah sponge, which is fantastic. I have this come like every two months because I have found that when I just rely on me and my timing, I don't think I replace these enough. So I've just put it in here with this and now I get it on the right. The next thing I have is the Grove Gel Hand Soap. And that's what this looks like. And this is their autumn flavor, so I thought I would give it a try. And I'm gonna put this in my bathroom. I have one of those Simple Human auto dispensers. So I'll put this in there. And let's see what if we can see through this tiny little tube up top what this smells like. Oh, it's nice. It's just kind of figgy, kind of clean. It's nice. It's just a nice fall figgy hand soap scent. So that will be perfect. I also have the Clear the Air. I'm always intrigued, and I have gotten in my FabFitFun boxes in the past, the poopery that you spray before you go. I keep it in my guest bathroom just in case people want to give it a try. This is their version, 
and it is coconut flavored. And this is what it looks like. And it's just a nice little kind of apothecary bottle looking and it's two ounces. So we will give that a try and see how that works. Next, I have the Schmitz Lavender Tips Sensitive Skin Formula. And this is a deodorant. I have tried this in the Jasmine Green Tea. I liked it a lot. It didn't irritate under my arms. I liked it very much. I used it for quite some time until I discovered I did not love the scent. I felt like a stranger was following me around. Every time I would catch a scent of my armpit, I would think, what is that smell? It was a little too green tea, not enough jasmine. So I thought, you know what? Let's give the lavender a try. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, yay. It smells like lavender. I will definitely think this smells more like me. So I hope that it works as well in the lavender as it did in the jasmine green tea because I have to do sensitive skin ones because the ones with baking soda don't work for me. And I alternate. I can't commit to this. I go back and forth like on super hot days or days where I know I'm going to be real busy or working out. I use a regular deodorant. But for days when I'm just hanging out around the house, I like to have something just to give my armpits the day off. <laughs> All right, I also received, oh, it looks like something might have leaked a little because the bottom of this is a little, ooh, ooh. the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Lavender Scent Scent Sachet, and it is 60 Days of Fragrance. I purchased one of these before, and I got it in the Honeysuckle, and what I liked is I put it in my car, and it gave my car such a lovely scent. So it comes sealed, and you just cut it out of here, and it's just that little pouch and I tucked it up under the seat of my car, and it, I can't even smell it through this. It was a really subtle scent, but I liked it a lot. And last but not least, and this is another one of the new things I thought I would try is, oh, this is what seems to have leaked a little bit. I thought something felt a little damp. This seems to have leaked a bit. I will tell you, this is the first time that I have had anything in one of these boxes leak, and this did leak a little bit. And it is the Grove Stain Remover. It says, goodbye stains. Made with powerful combinations of enzymes, our stain remover combats stains from spaghetti sauce to grass and everything in between. You just spray it onto the stained area until it's thoroughly saturated and then wash. For best results, allow to sit for an extra five minutes. And I liked it because, you know, their things are like, this is free and clear. Although it still says, don't get it in your eyes, don't eat it. I suspect that's always a good idea with laundry things. But that is what that looked like. And I bought it in a set. And this one is the wrinkle releaser, free and clear. And this says, no iron, no problem. Our wrinkle reducer removes folds and static in fabric for sleek clothes in no time. And you just shake it spray it on, use your hands to pull the fabric like if you have it on a hanger. I got this not just because it said it was a wrinkle releaser, but I also like that it addressed static. I don't very often use fabric softeners because they have said so many, I have that stain stuff on my hands now, because they have so often said fabric softeners are bad for you. So I try not to use them. So I've gone to the wool balls in the dryer and it does make everything softer and fluffier but in the dead of winter, you can still really get some static. So I thought, well, if I had a little bit of this, I could spray it on there and maybe it would help get rid of static. So that's what I'm hoping really to accomplish with this instead of wrinkle reduction. Okay, so that is my Grove box. I am really happy with it. I am a little disappointed that this leaked a little bit. It used to all come with tape over it that stopped anything from unscrewing. And this was a little loose, so it just unscrewed a little bit. But Accidents happen. I've had it for more than a year, and this is the first time I've ever had anything like this happen. So I really enjoy the Grove products, and I love that they bring them right to my house. So it works for me. If you have any interest, again, I will put my link below, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you so much for coming by to watch. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I put more videos up, and I will see you all really soon. Bye, guys.